It's mom and pop video shop. Welcome back to mom, or welcome for the first time to mom and pop video shop. I am Joel. I'm Tyson. And we are here the day after, because this show drops on a Monday, typically our reviews do at any rate. Uh, although I didn't say it, we're here with a retro movie review. See, it's easy, just retro movie review. RMR. Can I just and say RMR? RMR. We're here with an RMR. RMR. It actually sounds like ASMR. I don't think we ain't that kind of channel. Oh, you mean? <laughs> we are covering the day after Mother's Day in the tasteful way that we do these things. Mother's Day? Mother's Day. Not, not on time Mother's Day. No. I would have, but I've been looking to get that on VHS and that is not cheap. I don't have this one on VHS either. Well, you know, actually, maybe I do somewhere, but I'm not going to dig it out. I do have it on Blu-ray, though. <laughs> of course you do. The one, the only. You thought I was going to say Psycho. Psycho 2. Booyah. Good audible at the last minute, because we were going to do Psycho, but... Yeah, and then all of a sudden I looked at my shelf and I realized I have all four... We've been there. on a sequel kick, and I love Psycho 2. Make up your mind. Okay, Psycho the original, other than the ending, because that's when they do that thing that I hate in all movies, modern or old, where they get, like, weirdly, that preachy, but over-explanatory, I hate that crap. I think in night, you believe me, though, in night... I get it, they had to. Oh, I get it. Oh, I don't think Hitchcock wanted to do that. Yeah. But that being said, I hate that. Um, but the more I watch Psycho 2, I would say for me, and apparently it's Tarantino feels this way, I don't think it's better. I, I, I don't agree with him there. I don't think it's better. It's different, but I put it on the same level as in my mind. Like they're, they're it's like Godfather 1 and 2, right? There, mm -hmm. There's certain, I mean, some people would say Empire's better than Star Wars, but Star Wars and Empire, like there's certain movies that are just together for me. Yeah. This one in Psycho, the more I watch this, the oh, more. I, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I think it's, it's yeah, it's close. just so good. Yeah, and all right. So Psycho Two, if you've never seen it, uh, was directed by Richard Franklin, who also did Cloak and Dagger with Henry Thomas and uh, Dabney Coleman, Jack yeah. Flack, and Lady Ace, um, and uh, it was written by Tom Holland. Yes, the oh, great Fred Tom Knight. Holland. Yeah, in Child's, Child's Play. Play. Come on, man. Um, yeah, and. Uh, this movie is great. So let me just read it from the back of the uh, Blu-ray. Anthony Perkins makes a terrifying homecoming in his role as the infamous Norman Bates, who, after years of treatment in a mental institution for the criminally insane, has come home to run the Bates Motel. Vera Miles returns as the woman who is still haunted by her sister's brutal murder in the ominous motel where it all occur occurred many years ago. Meg Tilly, Robert Loggia, and Dennis Franz co-star in this terrifying sequel to Alfred Hitchcock's classic film. So here's the thing. I feel like Psycho 2, mm -hmm. the, reason, the reason why it works so well, if you've never seen Psycho, spoiler alert, <laughs> oh, I, go watch Psycho before you listen to us talk about Psycho 2. That would be advisable. And I would assume everybody would just get that. But it's like, they still also put stickers on like toasters and things that says, don't take it in the shower. So here we are. People are so stupid. Psycho 2 is great because Norman is better. Norman is cured, cured but for all intents and purposes. And it's, he's not the bad guy, but is he, you don't know, right? Because things start to happen around him again. And I think this is what Andy Perkins, I always think was a very underrated actor. Like oh, yeah. he got typecast as Norman, but I think he was a great actor. I think he was typecast as Norman because he's so damn great yeah, as Norman. It happens. And realistically, I get it as an actor, especially the kind of actor he was, where he was all about the, the range of performance, and I'm sure he wanted to do lots of different things. And you know, yeah. But at the same time, man, there's, there's worse things to be remembered for, <laughs> okay? Yeah. And, and I feel like this movie especially, of all of them, I like Psycho 4 a lot. I have not seen Psycho 3 in forever. And with memory sure, Psycho 3 is kind of sleazy. Like it has yeah, a, a sleaziness bit. to it, which is funny because he directed it. Yeah. Um, but, but I also remember there being a weird artsiness to it. I, I need to rewatch 3. 4 I saw not that long ago. That's Mick Garris. And I liked 4 a lot too, even though he's not the major element to it. It's Henry Thomas playing younger Norman. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like Psycho 2, it just, his performance, he's such a tragic figure and the things that happen to him, you legitimately feel, like if it's not him, you feel really bad for the guy. Here's the, here's the thing that I think can just sum up at least my feelings about Psycho 2. When we talk about today and somebody says, oh, they're making XYZ part two, our reaction, sad to say nowadays is to immediately go, oh shit. Like mm -hmm. why do we need to remake mm -hmm. this? Why do we need a sequel to this? Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, 
Psycho 2 is a sequel done right. Oh, really? Do you believe that? Uh, and so in 83, when this came out, because now it's... Let's go back, kids. You made a sequel to effing Psycho, you arrogant... You know, like, that was the attitude. All the mainstream critics that nobody remembers today um, to, were like, who do these, this Holland and Franklin guy think they are? Mm -hmm. By the way, Richard Franklin also did uh, Road Games with Jamie Lee Curtis and Stacey Keach, too, if I remember so. Yes. Because he's Australian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> ADD. Squirrel! 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 Dude, the pressure on you to make a sequel to a movie by... Not only a movie that's considered one of the greatest horror, you know, movies sure. of all time. The proto slasher movie, the the movie that was, but it was, it's a Hitchcock movie, and you got to remember, in 1983, Hitchcock only been dead for three years, and he's considered at that time. I mean, I would still say to this day, one of the greatest directors of all time, and at that time, probably the greatest at that time. I think once you know though that you've got. Anthony Perkins back, mm -hmm. yeah, Vera Miles back. Oh yeah, and you're supporting them with casts like Dennis Franz yes. and Robert Loggia. Yes, and Meg Tilly. She's and Meg great Tilly is in, this. in this. Yes. She's so Absolutely. good in this, dude. It just and I think what it is, it's his vulnerability. He's so oh, perfect. Yeah. You, the reason why you jokingly asked if we were doing the Gus Van Sant one, and the reason why I hated that, besides the fact that it was flipping pointless. Mm -hmm. So much rage, so much anger. Vince Vaughn, who I love him in comedies. Swingers, man, Wedding Crashers, those are great movies. He is not Norman Bates. You know who I wanted to play Norman Bates if they were gonna do it? Jeremy Davies. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. He would have been perfect. Mm -hmm. Cleaned him up, don't do him like in Justified where he's all scraggly, mm -hmm. but Lost, like he played Daniel Faraday in Lost. Mm -hmm. I thought he, cause it's that slight, very slender, very boyish. Look, I think we just need to not talk about remaking Psycho. No, but if you were gonna do it, cast somebody who, like I would say, I Bates Motel, the kid that uh, yeah, had Freddie Highmore, yeah. he was good. At first, he kinda, I found him a little off-putting because like Jeremy Davies, it's also because he, there's a vibe, he doesn't look like Anthony Perkins, but there's a, there's a, the the vibe is there, you know what I mean? I don't know, Freddie Highmore, the more I, I watch that show, which is a fantastic show if you've never seen Bates Motel, that, sh that show, I, he grew on me sure. as, as Norman, but, Perkins will always be my Norman. Sorry, um, it's only over Vince Vaughn, but it's it's great. If you've never seen this movie, cannot recommend it enough. Um, for me, it is an absolute five taper. Oh, if we could go too. six tapes, it would be a six tape. Five tapes. The ending where I don't even want to give it away if they haven't seen it. But for me, the last let's call it four minutes of the movie. There's again without giving too much away. Oh, there's a transition an interaction. Yes. an interaction. Let's say. Well, and a, a, uh, uh, a thing an, that happened. An artistic decision that mm -hmm. the filmmakers did that I thought was oh, freaking It's great. Brilliant. It's so good, dude. Spoiler alert. Psycho 2, let us know in the comments below. Still Have you good. seen it? What did you think? Don't give away the bit, especially the party talk. I'm like, oh, don't do that. Uh, don't be that person. But uh, yeah, let us know in the comments. Have you seen it? Do you like it? Do you prefer it to the original or the original to this? Maybe you like part three or four better. I'm not going to judge you because I think they're all great. So, until you visit us here again at the shop, remember at Mom and Pops, our love of The Blob 1988. Eight. Absolutely, unequivocally, hands down, never, ever, in the name of the sweet Shawnee Smith, ever stops. Mom and Pops Video Shop.